Hello friends, here in this video we will see a problem related to stress and strain and for that here we have a question. A steel rod 800 mm long and 60 mm into 20 mm in cross section is subjected to an axial push of 89 kN. If modulus of elasticity is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square, calculate stress, strain and reduction in length of the rod. So this is the question. Whatever is given here, I will write that in the form of data first. In data, first I will write down steel rod 800 mm long. So length is given. And area is given that is it is 60 mm into 20 mm so here this means that the steel rod is having a rectangular cross section so 60 mm is the width and 20 mm is the depth so this is the rectangle cross section of the bar which is given and it is 800 mm long it is subjected to an axial push now the load is of push type whose value is 89 kilo push type of load it can be taken as negative because it is a compressive it will produce compressive stress and mostly we take compressive stress as negative so here the push kind of load if it is considered even though if it is considered negative in the problems we just require this value so i'll use this magnitude only negative sign indicates it is push kind of load so here i'll use the value of load as 89 into 10 raised to 3 Newton only the magnitude neglecting the sign next if modulus of elasticity is capital E it is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square calculate stress the first question strain and reduction in length of the rod that is delta L so this is the question which we have to solve let us try to get the solution for this problem as the first question is stress so I'll start with stress since stress is given by sigma is equal to p upon a therefore sigma will be equal to p is given 89 into 10 raised to 3 area as we can see here we have rectangle cross section so area is 60 into 20 so therefore stress it comes out to be 74.17 Newton per mm square this is the first answer next the second question is strain now see if we want to calculate strain the formula of strain is change in length upon original length but here if we see this change in length we don't have change in length is another question so strain cannot be calculated by using this formula then which formula to use to calculate strain in this case once we are unable to calculate strain from the given formula we can calculate it by using another formula which is derived from 
hooke's law so i'll say that now from hooke's law young's modulus capital e it was equal to stress upon strain i'll highlight this formula because we are using this from hooke's law to calculate strain so therefore strain will be equal to stress upon young's modulus stress is 74.17 young's modulus capital e that is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 and from this i am getting strain my answer is 3.53 into 10 raised to minus 4 this is the second answer and the last question is to calculate deflection so i'll say that after getting strain since deflection or in this problem as i have read in the starting here the load is push type of load so the deflection would be reduction in the length of rod as i have written here so here deflection means it is reduction in the length of rod and that reduction can be calculated again by using the concept of strain since strain was equal to deflection upon original length deflection this is what we have to calculate strain we know so we can directly use it that is deflection is equal to strain multiplied by original length so therefore deflection will be strain it was 3.53 into 10 raised to minus 4 length of the member is given as 800 so from this i'll get my answer of deflection which comes out to be 0 0.82 0 0.2825 mm so after finding all these answers i can write it down that stress we had calculated our answer number one it was 74.17 newton per mm square strain 3.53 into 10 raised to minus 4 and deflection that is the reduction in length we have got it as delta l is equal to 0 0.2825 mm here into the bracket i'll write down it as reduction that is the reduction in length so here in this video we have seen how to calculate stress strain and reduction in length of a rod